everyone, this is Jun Lee Scali, your nursing buddy. Thank you so much for being with me today. And for today, we'll be discussing about the concept of West Nile virus infection. Still under your new role, nursing, we are still here helping the nurses of the future. Ayan. So for those na hindi pa po nakasubscribe sa ating YouTube channel and also hindi pa po nakatune in sa ating line sa Facebook and then sa ating TikTok, please do so po ngayon. Okay? So West Nile virus infection, still part of your neuro nursing, still a continuation after we had the encephalitis, now we are having the West Nile virus infection kapatid. So your West Nile virus infection is a potentially serious illness affecting your central nervous system. Kapatid, tandaan natin, CNS, CNS, CNS. We're talking about the brain and the spinal cord and that's it. Okay? So it's a potentially serious illness affecting CNS and from the word itself, it's a virus infection. But now we need to know where this is, uh, where is it coming from? Where is the virus coming from? So we need to know that it's a viral infection that's due to a mosquito bite. Okay, so this is due to a mosquito bite and we need to remember this one. So just like you were, just like your other mosquito bite causing um, vir viral infection like your dengue, so your West Nile virus infection is also caused by your mosquito bite. Okay, so where this virus, where is this virus coming from? It comes from the infected birds. It's because when our mosquitoes you know, try to mingle with this, um, uh, uh, infected birds, it's where the infection or the transmission of the virus occurs. Okay, so remember that in three to four days, it's where our symptoms starts to appear after the mosquito bite. So after you've been bitten by this mosquito, infected with the virus, so we need to wait for three to five days before the symptoms appear. Okay, so that's it, kapatid. So we also need to remember that your neurological effects in your West Nile virus infection is or can be permanent, okay, or can be irreversible. So we need to remember this one. Okay, so what are the possible assessments? Again, very CNS po ang inaatake po natin, I mean, ang virus dito. So mostly, um, most of your uh, cases in your West Nile virus infection are symptomatic, okay? And for mild symptoms, if the manifest of the, if the if the manifestation um, occurs, these are the mild symptoms that may appear. First, fever. Okay, uh, there could also be your headache, nausea and vomiting, swollen glands, also rash, which are located in the chest. It can be in your stomach or even at the back of the patient. Okay, now for your severe symptoms, you can have high fever, headache. Also, stiff neck or the knuckle rigidity. And also, you will have your neuromuscular um, manifestations such as disorientation, tremors, weakness, which are muscle weakness, and also vision loss, paralysis, seizures, and of course, coma. Okay, it can lead to coma. So, these are your severe symptoms that may appear in your West Nile virus infection. Okay, so what can be our interventions, kapatid? Ano nga ba ang pwede nating magawa dito? Of course, isaysay natin. For mostly, because of most of our, our cases in your West Nile virus infection, our um, cases are mostly asymptomatic up to mild, and rarely we have the more severe form or those patients manifesting severe infection. Okay, so for our intervention, it could, it could be supportive, okay? And no specific treatment is done for the virus. Okay, it's most, mostly su supportive. If what the patient is manifesting, so we manage it. If for fever, we give analgesics, um, antipyretics and analgesics for headache. Okay, we also uh, give other supportive management to our patients. Okay, so the most important thing to remember here is how to prevent. Okay, so how to prevent getting infected with West Nile virus infection. So we use insect repellents containing your DEET. So what's that DEET? It's diethyl, okay, diethyl olwamide, okay? Yolwamide, okay? So DEET. And also, kapatid, stay indoors at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active. So this is the most important uh, health education that we'll be giving to our patient, Okay? So that ends. Thank you, Kaps. Maraming salamat. Nursing body, helping the nurses of the future. Maraming salamat po.